Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm at the Cote Water Park near Swindon. This is the reservoir, and down here, there's a sign that says Miniature Railway. We're going to go and have a trip in the Cote Water Miniature Railway, which is just down here. You can just see a little cloud of steam. So, we're going to have a ride on this railway. It's run by the North Wiltshire Model Engineering Society. It's quite an extensive railway, it goes off out into the woods. You can just see a little train pulling out. So we're going to go and have a ride and see where this track takes us. It looks really quite exciting. I had a look on their website, there was a map and it looked like a very extensive railway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go buy my ticket and we'll go for a ride on the Coat Water Railway.
we've had a great trip on the Coke Water Miniature Railway. Um, unfortunately, the rain seems to be coming down quite hard now, so it's effectively um, ended much chance of us doing any line siding today. My plan was to go for a walk down here. I've seen some of the railway from the line side, but um, understandably, that's um, not really going to happen today. I think what we'll do, we'll possibly come here again in the future, and. Um, I'll perhaps do a bit more action from the line side, you know, to the place like here and seeing the train come past. But you know, it, the weather's pretty bad today, so you can't play one for um, packing up. You can see one of the engine sheds there at the turntable. I'm just going to have a walk along here. We might just catch a glimpse of, of um, steam. If we've got one chance of seeing any more steam here today, I think it possibly would be down here. Um, so if I come here again, we'll come here again, um, we'll get more line side shots. It's a very interesting and complex network, so yeah, I'm confusing myself now. We, we, we would have gone across there and then we finished by coming back across here, or did we? I can't remember. It's, it's, um, it's a very complex network of track. Um, it's quite simple when you look at it on a map, because you can see they had a smaller loop, then they had the figure of eight light loop going over the bridge, and then they built the loop that went right out to the back was the last um, thing they built. Oh, can I, see? I think I can just see some movement. Yeah, I think we're going to see Linda steam past. So this um, will probably be our one and only line side shot. So I'm going to let you enjoy that. driver of Linda stopped there and I think she's going to reverse yeah she's now going to propel her train into the engine shed so I'll let you watch that So, as Linda propels her train back into the engine shed, um, the rain isn't showing a great deal of sign of stopping. Um, being called the Coat Water Railway, it certainly has lived up to its name with water, even though it's actually named after the water, as in the big reservoir. Um, so I've, I've had a good, good hour and a half here, I have really enjoyed it. I would have stayed longer had the weather been better, but perhaps we'll come here again next year and um, We'll go and visit other miniature railways in the area. So um, this is this was a bit of a drive for me. This one. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and it's getting windy. Um, if you're out this way, do come and visit the Cove Water Railway. It is probably one of the nicest miniature railways I've been on. Some of the most exciting scenery. It's got some real good gradients. So it really is a lovely railway. So do come and visit. Perhaps just pick. Um, a better weather day than what I did. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the water of Coatwater 